whether their late husband, her father, was murdered or not. Israel has once again strong to do with Yasser Arafat. Basically, if he was found to have been murdered during this autopsy, or if you can assume that it has fairly intensely effects on what is still a very fraught situation on the ground of the Middle East. One of the things I think was very foolish in the authority in recent days was to come out and say, we know it's the day, we have all the evidence. That's what it is. And it was established that there's film that they were more or less forced into action by the, 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 the public support for the initial by the French. So now that now that this has been initiated not for the French Swiss and Russian team, I think it's it's prudent that they, they follow the facts and, and see whether or not it could be confirmed to testing the body. And then ask the question, who had access to Mr. Arafat? In that one month period where he did his success and decline, um, leading to his death, who had access to him? What anomalies are in this case? Who made public threats against the officer at the time? Certainly there were Israeli officials who were saying his Arafat should be eliminated. It, it would make a lot of sense to go through question. But there's a lot of people that, that, uh, that they're going to have to look at, and they should be evidence-driven rather than, than emotionally-driven. Yes, I hope that died eight years ago. The revered figure that he was. Uh, a lot has happened in the Middle East since then. The Israelis actually had a leader that could an agreement and you could shake hands on it and you could trust that it would be important. And no one knows who's in charge of, of political life, whether it's Hamas or whether it's this other group. That was the only one that marshaled respect amongst all the factions. Um, ultimately do it here, but in the end, the Israelis were closed off with them enough. And, and though their, their positioning in the negotiations is improving, my sense is that the Israelis today, that they had someone like that to deal with, because they had the house in order, and that is something we've been hearing from here at the Israel. Yeah. With the Israeli Palestinian forces, and it's happening with the fire is holding. And in fact, Down to Deer, who explored the claims that Mr. Arafat may have been poisoned, speaking there with Michael Rollins from ABC TV. <laughs> Radio Australia's flagship Pacific Child Affairs program, presenting in depth analysis of the issues affecting the Pacific. And you can access the city at radioaustralia.net.au slash Pacific Keep up with what's going on in your world. Go to Radio Australia. Pacific Beach. Now, coming up, we will be talking to the journalists, talk about the week's issue, and we will have the Asian snapshot as well coming up, looking at a story across China, a story across Indonesia. It's only the new primary school program in Melbourne's week, celebrating the world. It was launched yesterday at the Mother of God Primary School in Korea, and the program promoted the richness of multiculturalism, how cultural diversity can enhance communities. Now, the program is run by Sports Direct, supported by Twitter, and the Western Bulldogs, Aussie Wilson, 